Franklin, put the gun down. Don't come any closer. I'll blow his head off. Swear to God I will. Don't aggravate him. He's insane. Shut up, tyrant. Easy, Franklin. Easy. Franklin, it's okay. We just want to talk. Talk to him, Curtis. Maybe he'll listen to you. What should I say? Tell him whatever he wants to hear. Lie to him if you have to. Give up evidence. Whatever it takes to de-escalate the situation. Got it. So we're gonna play I as Ray this whole case? Warning. I told you! Justice was coming, but you did nothing! How can you prove otherwise? Show the surveillance photo. Tell him. Pol tell him police funds were restricted. Tell him you. You have promising leads. That's not true, Franklin. I followed up on some very promising leads. Leads, huh? What do you know that I don't already know, Detective? I haven't exactly been sitting on my ass this whole time. Since I came back, this case is active again. Fine. Then give me something to make me believe you're doing your homework. I don't know why he thinks his brother did it. I don't know who did it, honestly. What can you tell him? Tell him about Frank Vincenzo. Tell him about Dr. Don't Share Evidence. The name Frank Vincenzo Jr. mean anything to you? Yes. Yes, it does. That name keeps coming up, but I don't know why. I can tell you if you'll listen to me. Okay, I'm listening. Frank Vincenzo Jr. is a hitman, and he's connected to the gun that killed Harrison and wounded Allison. I knew it. A hitman. This is ridiculous. I have no idea. The what gun he's is going about. through him. Yes, you do, old man. Tell him, detective. Slam dunk it. What can you tell him? Lie and oversell Mickey's evidence. Be honest about Mickey's evidence. Underplay Mickey's usefulness. Uh I got a guy, Mickey Trevino, with incontrovertible evidence connecting the nine mil to Frank Vincenzo Jr. and Frank to the murder. There's only one way to get justice for my brother. Don't throw your life away, Franklin. Why? What do I have to live for? All I want is this. It's all I've wanted for ten years. How can you provide otherwise er, prove otherwise? Lie and say Allison loves him. The Occupy movement. I will kill you now. Jesus. Allison. She still loves you, Franklin. What? Allison? She couldn't show it before, but she can now. But she's unsure. So much time has passed. If you kill your father, she'll only see you as a murderer. You'll never be able to prove it to her. Don't let that happen. Show her how much you care for her, and the memory of your brother. Allison loves me? Okay, okay. Maybe you're right. I guess I just gave up hope that anyone would ever believe me. Is that why you threw the mannequin off the bridge? Yeah, I was with him, trying to convince him to confess when he had his heart attack. When I dropped him off at the hospital, I got the idea to stage his death. I hope maybe the newspapers or bloggers would pick up the story. Interesting idea. You're delusional, son. Yeah, well, the jury's still out on that, Mr. Bedford. I hope Franklin gets some help. I've looked through the file, Detective, but I have to admit, I'm not seeing enough to put Giles Bedford away for his son Harrison's murder. We've got the makings of a good circumstantial case, Mike. That's not the issue. A jury is going to see Bedford as a grieving father. You're going to have to convince them that he's a murderer. Let me walk you through how I see it. You just said circumstantial case. You need to beyond reasonable doubt sort of stuff. Jesus. Lenny would want us to motive Mickey Trevino. I'm not just solving this case for myself, Mr. Cutter. I'm doing it for my old partner, Lenny Briscoe. A noble sentiment, Detective, but it's not something I can take to a jury. You found a red herring. Well, you know, oh well. The first question the jury is going to ask is what's the motive here? Why would Giles Bedford kill his own son? You got something for us, Curtis? <sighs> Do you? Yes? Oh god, one of 12 stars, holy shit. What? His son was threatening to quit school, his son was planning to 
planning on def defecting to another company. Harrison had killed someone and implicated his own father. Giles discovered his son's girlfriend was pregnant. Bedford found out his son's girlfriend was pregnant. From what Franklin and Allison have told us, he wasn't a big fan of the relationship. So he killed his son? How does that add up? It doesn't, which is why it makes sense. Yeah, it totally makes sense. Is, is Carmichael crazy? Yes, but unfortunately, I don't think that would be correct, so... How so? Carmichael said that she was previously sworn testimony from Vincenzo. Carmichael is never wrong. Just go with it. Just go with it. Just go. Let me go with this one. Both Trevino and Vincenzo widow said the hit went wrong. Mickey Trevino said Giles hated his son. She's right. Both Mickey Trevino and Frank's widow have told us independently that the hit went wrong. The widow said Vincenzo never got paid. And my working theory is that Bedford paid to have Allison killed, but during the attack, Harrison somehow got in the way. That I can understand. I'm betting a jury can see it that way, too. Mickey Trevino. Mickey Trevino will testify that Frank Vincenzo Jr. told him he committed this murder. And Bedford's defense lawyer will throw out the testimony. It's all hearsay, detective. Not necessarily, Mike. The statement may fall under one of the hearsay exceptions. Curtis, what can you tell us about it? I don't know. What are the exceptions? Okay, there's present sense impression, meaning something that was happening at the moment, within a 30 to 40 second window. There's also an exception for any statement made as part of a regular business record. And there's present physical condition, which would be a statement made to anyone about the declarant's current physical condition. Any of those fit Trevino's evidence? I don't know. I'm so confused right now. What am I even trying to prove? Uh, there's a present sense impression. Meaning something that happened at the moment. Within a 30 to 40 second window. There's also the exception as part of a regular business record. I don't know. Okay, thank God. I won't have to choose Sorry. between them. From what I heard, none of those quite fit. Hang on, there are a few more. There's oh, another God, exception no. for a dying declaration, which apply to any statement made by Vincenzo if he knew he was dying. And there's also former testimony, which would involve anything Vincenzo said during previous sworn testimony. And the excited utterance, if Vincenzo said something in the heat of the moment, during or immediately after the crime. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna say dying like declaration. I think we could work with dying declaration. Oh really? Why? Uh, Vincenzo knew his cancer was fatal and he was dying. Mickey knew Vincenzo was dying. Vincenzo eventually died. Mickey can verify that Vincenzo made the statement. Mickey told me Vincenzo started getting chatty after he was diagnosed with terminal stage cancer. Unusual, but I think it qualifies. Mike? I think you could make a jury see that as a deathbed confession. Go with it. I still don't see how this case entirely fits, but whatever, we're going with it. I also learned from Bedford's doctor that he's being treated for anxiety. Interesting, but not definitive. What's he being treated with? Did the doctor mention drugs? Yes. Do I remember the drugs? No. It was something. It was this one. Never mind, I remembered it. It was like some weird one that I never heard before. Benaxoline. That's a pretty common medication. As I understand, there aren't any significant side effects. Yes. Oh, no, you're wrong. I'm sorry. Actually, his doctor mentioned that Benaxoline had some nasty side effects. And it gets even better, Mike. I remember a case about last year. Newlyweds. She kills him completely out of the blue. Turns out she's on Benaxoline and has these episodes of uncontrollable rage. She stops the meds and suddenly she's fine. Great story, but how does that help us? Our crime happened 13 years ago. Curtis, anything that can help us here? Uh, do you have something? Yeah, sure, yeah. Whatever you say. 
what doctor said his first treatment he first treated Bedford before the shooting uh, Chav Trevino also murdered while on anti-anxiety drugs doctor said that he started treating after the shooting no it was before The good doctor also told us Bedford first took Benaxaline for anxiety in the weeks before the shooting. We're damn lucky this physician likes to talk. I think he honestly believes that Bedford has nothing to hide. All right, detective. You convinced me. Bedford paid a hitman to take care of a problem for him. His son was a tragic accident, yes, but that doesn't let him off the hook for the murder. And I'm throwing the charge of attempted murder on top. Let's not forget the price paid by Allison Conway in all this. I don't think he did it. But, okay, not gonna argue with you.